Vaccination Counseling Our discussion will begin with a brief scenario. Father of one month old baby comes to your office as he has some concerns about his son's vaccination. Introduction. How do you feel? Good morning, I'm Dr. Steele. I'm physician on duty today. How would you like me to address you and your baby? Nice to meet you, Mr. A. I understand that you came to the clinic because you have some concerns about vaccination for your baby, Alex. Can you tell me more about your concerns? So. Clarify if Mr. A needs general information or has specific concerns. Like, I'm worried about an allergic reaction. I heard that vaccines cause autism. Thanks, Mr. A, for coming here to discuss your concerns with me. Allergic reactions. Ask previous history of vaccination. Ask any symptoms or allergic reaction after previous shots at two months old. There's a small chance of a serious allergic reaction to a vaccine called anaphylaxis. It usually happens shortly after a person receives the vaccine and is treatable. Your health care provider will ask you to stay at the clinic for at least 15 minutes after vaccination. This is so they can watch for abnormal or very rare reaction and, and treat them quickly. Vaccination sites should have a supply of epinephrine to use in case you have an allergic reaction. Vaccines cause autism. Mr. A, what gives you this feeling? What gives you this concern? Some parents have been concerned that vaccines, specifically measles, mumps, rubella, MMA vaccine, and preservatives used in early childhood vaccines play a role in children developing autism. There has been a lot of false claims in the news, but thorough study have found no links between vaccine and autism. A lot of research has been and is being done to find out the cause of autism. Go to the government uh, CDC website to follow a very large study about risks for autism and other developmental disabilities. Because the exact cause of this sometimes devastating condition is not known, some parents will continue to have concerns despite the evidence. In these cases, parents should, should be aware of the risks of serious disease in children who are not vaccinated. In some areas, Outbreak of these dangerous diseases have occurred in people who have not been immunized. Candidacy for vaccination. Ask history for Benji. Before I proceed further, I would like to make sure that your child is a good candidate for vaccination. Does Alex have any illness, sickness, fever, flu-like symptoms? If higher fever, we wait. Was Alex diagnosed with any neurological diseases? Was Alex killed for HIV? Does Alex have any allergy? Based on what you told me, Alex is a candidate for vaccination. Questions parents ask about vaccines for babies. Why are vaccines important? What diseases do vaccines protect against? I don't know anybody who has had diseases. Why does my baby need these vaccines? Are there a better way to protect my baby against these diseases? Are vaccines safe? How many times do I need to bring my baby for vaccinations? Why are vaccines important? Vaccines protect your child against serious diseases by stimulating the immune system to create antibodies against certain bacteria or viruses. What diseases do vaccines protect against? Immunizing your baby with vaccines protects against serious diseases like measles, whooping cough, polio, meningococcal disease, tetanus, rotavirus, hepatitis A, B, chickenpox, influenza, and more. Vaccines won't protect children from minor illness like colds, but they can keep children safe from many serious diseases. I don't know anybody who has dead diseases. Why does my baby need these vaccines? While a few of these diseases have virtually disappeared because of vaccination, reported cases of people with diseases like measles who be cough has been on the increase lately. Even if some diseases do completely disappear in Canada, 
They are more common in other parts of the world and are just plain right away. If we stop vaccinating against these diseases, many more people will become infected. Vaccinating your child will keep him or her safe. Are there better ways to protect my baby against these diseases? No. Breastfeeding has many benefits and may offer some temporary immunity for certain illness, but experts agree it is not an effective means of protecting a child from the specific diseases prevented by vaccines. Likewise, vitamins won't protect against the bacteria and viruses that cause these serious diseases. Chiropractic remedies, naturopathy, and homeopathy are totally ineffective in preventing vaccine-preventable diseases. Some parents think that getting the natural disease is preferable to artificial vaccination, leading to a natural immunity. Some even arrange chickenpox parties to ensure their child gets infected. It's true that for some diseases, Getting infected will lead to immunity, but the price paid for natural disease can include paralysis, brain injury, liver cancer, deafness, blindness, or even death. When you consider the seriousness of these risks, vaccination is definitely the better choice. Are vaccines safe? Vaccines are safe, and scientists continually work to make sure they become even safer. Every vaccine undergoes extensive testing before being licensed, and vaccine safety continues to be monitored as long as a vaccine is in use. Most side effects from vaccination are minor, such as soreness where the injection was given or a low-grade fever. These side effects do not last long and are treatable. Serious reactions are very rare. The tiny risk of a serious reaction from a vaccination has to be weighed against the very real risk for getting uh, dangerous vaccine-preventable disease. How many times do I need to bring my baby in for vaccinations? At least five visits are needed before age two, but the visits can be timed to coincide with the well-child checkups. Multiple visits during the first two years are necessary because there are 14 diseases your baby can be protected against and most require two or more doses of vaccine for the best protection. Side effects of vaccines. Vaccines are generally safe. Millions of children have been vaccinated and it saved the lives of a large number of them. However, like any other medical intervention, vaccines have some side effects. It may cause minor issues like pain, redness, swelling at the site of injection. It may cause fever, which we deal with Tylenol. There are some few side effects that include prolonged crying, seizure, and some children become floppy. Again, this is rare, but if this happens, you need to seek medical attention immediately. Lastly, very rarely, children experience a serious allergic reaction and that is why we keep the children under medical supervision for 20 minutes after vaccination. Did I address your concerns? Do you have a better idea about vaccinations now? Any other ideas or concerns you need to talk about? Thanks for coming and see you next visit for the short to Alex. Thanks for watching. Best of luck for your exam.